Interspecies competition is when you have two groups of different species in the same area going after the same resource, i.e. they're trying to occupy the same niche or niche as others call it. And what that means is that you, if they're going after the same resources, somebody's going to lose. And that's something called the competitive exclusion principle. If they wind up going after the exact same resource in the exact same way, one of those species is going to die out. Um, a good analogy for this is imagine you want to be uh, captain of the football team and somebody else wants to be captain of the football team. There can only be one and eventually somebody's not going to make the cut. In the real world, if you have two predators all going after the same rabbit, for example, eventually one of the groups of predators is going to be faster and able to catch the rabbit more often or maybe you'll have more babies and in some way wind up outcompeting the other one. Now, sometimes a way to minimize this kind of overlap of your resources or overlap of your niches is to partition the resource. If you imagine there's some birds, two different species of birds that are going after seeds. Let's suppose they're in a forest with a bunch of fruit trees and other things that are producing seeds. If one bird focuses at getting it the seeds while they're still on the tree, while the other one goes after the seeds from fruit that has fallen and after the seeds of things like the grasses and bushes, then they can minimize the competition between them since they're both going after seeds, but one is going from them in the higher regions of the forest, the other one's going for the lower regions. This is one way that you'll see species competition being reduced in this way. This ultimately may lead to something called character displacement. If you give it enough time, natural selection will start making differences appear between these two species. The bird that's going after the uh, seeds that are up in the forest canopy, since it's around the leaves, it may require different uh, protective coloration to hide it from predators. Its beak may need to be uh, modified to help penetrate the fruit, while the one that's going on the ground, if the fruit is already rotted away, it can have seeds that are, have a beak shape that's different and it'll need to have protective coloration for the plant growth that's around the base of the tree. And these are the ways that you can have interspecies competition influencing the organisms in a particular area.